Guys, today we have one of Alpine's brand new ILX units. It is the F511A. This is the 11 inch floating screen or Halo 11 Alpine have released. Their latest units all support wireless CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, dual HDMI, dual camera inputs. There's a lot going on here. We're going to go through and do a very quick review, show you the unit, how it looks, how it works, how to quickly set up your phone through Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and pretty much answer some of the questions you guys might have. Now, just looking at this unit here with the part number, this is the F511. There's the F509A. That is the exact same unit, but in a nine inch display. And there's also the F507A. Now that is the doubled in head unit, which is sort of the new version of the ILX 702D. We installed that unit in a Jeep Wrangler very recently. That video is in the top right hand corner. So if you want to see an install video on this unit, it is there. But essentially the main differences between these is that you have an 11 inch screen, a nine inch screen and a seven inch screen. Operating system features all the same. So with that being said, let's open the box and have a look what's in it. All right guys, so first thing in the box, we're going to have the instruction manual, user manual. So if you want to go through and read that, you can. We have the wiring. Now that is just universal colors for speakers and power. Uh, and then the Alpine plug on the end. We've got the microphone. Anyone that is thinking about Alpine units for Bluetooth, fantastic. Very, very good Bluetooth. RCA outputs. So if you want to add an aftermarket amplifier, subwoofer, all that sort of stuff, you've got your outs. GPS antenna. So the unit does not have onboard GPS, but this is actually going to help with uh, location for Apple CarPlay and also time and date settings. Camera inputs, okay, so you've got a drive recorder input. So if you have a dash cam with a RCA, you can use that. I think Alpine sell one. You've got the rear camera, which is a direct plug. So it's not an RCA, which means you might have to do some wiring or buy the uh, direct camera plug from Alpine themselves. And then you've also got a front camera input. So if you want a front and rear camera, you can do that. Microphone plug input and steering wheel control input. And then basically just some mounting hardware for the unit itself. This being a floating screen, there's going to be a few different ways you can mount it. So there's a lot of different things like certain things that you may not need to use. And then lastly, or almost lastly, digital radio antenna. So unit has a DAB digital radio built in. And then we've just got some more mounting hardware brackets here to clean up the install when you're finished. That's pretty much what you get in terms of wiring to fit the thing. Now let's look at what else is in there. Next up, we have the radio itself. This is the brains basically, this runs everything and then the screen just attaches onto that. At the back here, there are some proprietary plugs that you're not going to know what they are just by looking at them, but basically power, HDMI in and outputs. You've got camera plug, pre-out plug, steering wheel control plug. They only go in one way, so you just plug them in. GPS antenna, which we looked at, digital radio antenna and the universal radio antenna. And that's pretty much everything on the back of the unit. So, oh yeah, and they're also the dual USBs, if we didn't say that. So you've got one for Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, if you want to go wired, it's a 2.4 amp output, and then just a secondary USB there, which is a 1.5 amp output, and that is just for USB, music, movies, charging your phone, that sort of stuff. And lastly, guys, we have the 11 inch display. Looks amazing. The new units, the way they've done it, it looks really, really nice very slim okay it's a slimline unit a lot of mounting options here okay so basically what that means is once the unit is attached to the body let's just pretend this is a vehicle unit sits there you can go higher lower and you can tilt as well okay um, you can't go left and right so i know there are some units out there you can go left and right a little bit this is just going to go up and down and tilt when you mount this in the dash that is really the time that you want to be getting your left and right and getting everything centered. Then you mount the screen onto the radio, up and down and tilt, get it perfect how you like it, and it's good to go. Um, what we're going to do is pop this on the radio, power it up on the power supply, and have a look at how it all works. So basically guys, once you've got the unit mounted, all you need to do is slide the screen on. It actually clicks into place, um, and then just test fit it, okay? Because if you need to go higher or lower, you can. And then with the tilt, you just need to grab the screen and basically tilt it to where you want it. Nice and easy. All right, guys, we've got the unit out, connected to the body. Power is all done. Power is completely off right now on the power supply. So what we're gonna do is switch it on and we'll start a timer to see how long it takes to boot up. So we'll switch it on right now. 
got the new Alpine logo, so in the older units it used to be the blue. You can change the splash screen on this, we will do a video on that in the future. And just like that, it's already in, I didn't count that, but we will have that timer there. Very, very quick to boot up, things already ready to go. Basically, this is your home screen. This is what you're gonna see when you first boot the unit up. Once your phone is connected to Bluetooth, it will automatically boot up into wireless CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, and you can go ahead and use those features straight away. But just looking at it here, we've got radio, so you can go into the radio. This is going to be your digital radio, AM and FM stations. So you can go through, change the stations to what you want, save them, so if we want, we don't have radio reception, but if we just wanted 9660, press and hold, and then it saves. That's how you save your stations. Uh, same with AM and very similar with digital as well. Now with digital, once your antenna is connected, you can just hit search and it will bring up a list of all the digital radio stations that it picks up. Obviously nothing now because we do not have the antenna connected. To get out of the radio, uh, we can hit back or you can press this little button right here, which is your home button. That's gonna bring us right back home. USB, we can see is not illuminated because we don't have anything connected. But as soon as you plug in a device that's registered or that it registers rather, USB, iPhone, Android, whatever you want, it'll come up with USB and then you can go and enter that and go and look at the files that you have. If you plug into the CarPlay port, it will bring up Apple CarPlay or Android Auto by a wired connection, which will also charge your phone. HDMI, so as we saw before, the unit has HDMI in and output, so if you've got a Chromecast, you want to plug it in, you can, and if you want to send that HDMI feed out to say rear seat entertainment or a roof mount, you can go ahead and do that too. Auxiliary, which is auxiliary in. If you've got any headrests or monitors or whatever with auxiliary input, you can go ahead and use that. To be honest, I don't know a lot of people that are using that as much, more so HDMI these days. Bluetooth audio and music. So music will work through the USB or iPod, and Bluetooth audio, once you've paired your phone, will connect to uh, Bluetooth audio. That's pretty much the home screen. There is a few quick things you can get to. So your phone button is here, as well as here, showing you currently the radio station that you are listening to, and you've got your setup page as well. So in setup, you can go in straight into device. So you'll have your device list, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi information. You can go and pair your phone there. You can go into function. Apple CarPlay, so you've got all different CarPlay settings in here, microphone level, voice recognition, media calls, volume, all that sort of stuff. Same thing for Android Auto. You've got radio. So basically what we're going through here is just looking at basic settings for each of the functions. So volume adjustment, interrupt volume, so when you sort of press this mute button here, uh, you can set what it's gonna interrupt to, so bring the volume down, and that's pretty much it in radio. USB, iPod and auxiliary settings are all there. Dash camera, so we did look at the dash camera input it has before, there's settings for that. And then also the camera settings. So if you want to turn your camera on, anyone that's installing this unit, if you do add a camera to it and it doesn't work, you've got to go into setup and turn the camera on. And then you can go through and change the um, signal settings and all that sort of stuff if need be. Um, that's pretty much settings at a glance. There's a lot in there, but we don't want to go through every single thing and make it a two hour video. Um, but pretty much you can customize every single feature of this unit. System, key sound, so when you're pressing all these keys it will beep. If that annoys you, you can turn it off, or if you really like it, you can turn it up. Uh, microphone, again, microphone volume. Language, there's a bunch of languages. You can adjust the time and date here. Uh, screen type, okay, so you can change to enhanced text. And then if we go home, now it's a much bigger display, sort of like on your iPhone when you set the zoom setting. Um, so if you wear glasses, this will probably help. Not calling anyone out. And then you can go back and just change it back to normal if you want. Screen and lighting, okay, pretty cool. So you've got the illumination level and the dimmer level for the screen. It has an automatic dimmer as well. Screen color, so you can change all the colors. So if we go to green and then we go back home, We've now got the green background, which is pretty cool. We'll go back into setup. Security code you can turn on. So if you first turn the unit on, you want a little passcode for it, you can do that. And then in installation status, it'll show you what's connected, give you GPS information. So if you've got your GPS in a poor location, you can check the information and just see what it's getting. Um, and battery voltage is pretty cool as well. So just coming back to the home screen now, 
We've pretty much gone through all the settings. Now, there's another feature that you can access here by either pressing the home button again, or swiping down from the top or touching the top there. And now this is gonna pretty much very quickly get you into the equalizer settings. It's going to show you voltage right now, so current voltage of your vehicle. You've got fader and balance here, so if you wanna fade up, down, left, right, and balance left or right, you can do so. Uh, media expander, Alpine has had this forever. It's basically like their loudness thing, um, but it's actually a lot better than a lot of the other units and it helps clean up signal from certain things. So you can turn that on and have a listen and just have a play in. A lot of this stuff is really, really good. And then when, you, when we install them in cars and set them up and get the time correction and get it sounding good is fine. I might love it. Brandon behind the camera might hate it. It's all personal preference with sound. So it's, uh, we show you how to use this and then you go ahead and set it up how you like it. Equalizer setting, nice and easy with this one. So you've got advanced equalizer up here if you want to. Um, you've got frequency, level of frequency, and then all of the channels. And then you've got front left, front right, rear left, rear right, and of course subwoofer as well. So um, here you can set whatever frequencies that you like, get them sounding right. I would not really play with this unless you know what you're doing with equalizers. Otherwise, you can get it sounding really bad. Um, they do also have, there we go. So that, this is the advanced equalizer. Now, if we touch that, there's a basic and then there's preset. So for people that are just gonna buy this unit, fit it and you're not an audiophile and you're not too fussed on sound, you can go through and just play with these. So you've got pop, rock, hip hop, um, and then just see how they sound. Pretty much play with it. Moving back, you've got bass and treble right here, nice and easy to access. A lot of people like to go in and crank the bass up, so you can do that. Uh, there's tone adjustments and defeat. Time correction, so that's where you're gonna measure distance between the speaker and each location of the passenger. Uh, bass engine, which is like their extra bass thing. And then the crossover, so you can go through and set your high pass, slow pass filters, get that all sounding right. Like I said before, it can get a bit technical here, so play with it and then worst case scenario you can just set it back to flat or if you know what you're doing you can get it sounding really really nice. Uh, most people that are changing their head units to something like this, this is going to give you pretty much double the power of your factory unit. So you're looking at four channels for the speakers at 50 watts each and then the pre-outs are four volt pre-outs, okay so nice and high voltage. Um, back to home, that's basically the home screen that we looked at. If we wanted to set up wireless CarPlay we can go into phone add a new device, okay, this is very easy to do. Open up your Bluetooth, it's searching here, and then we're also looking for Alpine DA on our phone. So Alpine DA has popped up here, we'll select it. We're gonna hit pair, yes, allow, keep your phone handy. We're gonna start CarPlay. This is gonna ask you if you wanna use CarPlay. You might need the GPS antenna actually. All right, we're back. So we just needed to connect the GPS antenna. So we're gonna go back to connect. Apple CarPlay, okay. Connecting to device, keep your phone open because it may ask you if you wanna use CarPlay right here. There we go, use CarPlay. This process is going to be the exact same for Android Auto, okay? So there's no real difference there. And there we are, straight into Apple CarPlay looks fantastic on that screen. I don't know if it's coming through on camera, but that looks absolutely insane. You've got your phone here. Like we said before, Bluetooth is going to sound excellent on this unit. Music, maps, messages all work through Siri. You've got a calendar, Google Maps, Spotify, Waze, YouTube Music, iHeartRadio. Oops, let's go back one. And Zoom. All of these features work with CarPlay. Basically, any app you have on your phone that is compatible with Apple CarPlay, will come up on Apple CarPlay. And as you see, we have a new icon right there. Um, exact same thing with Android Auto. And of course you can do wired if you don't want to do wireless. But basically every time you jump in the car, it'll connect to your phone, straight to Apple CarPlay. And I don't know about you guys, but generally that is all I use in my car. So CarPlay is probably one of the biggest features of these units. And that is pretty much it. We haven't gone too technical with the, all the specs on this unit, but it will be on the Alpine website. Um, high res audio, Wi-Fi built in, HDMI in and outputs, Bluetooth, FLAC audio, digital radio, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. 
The thing has everything that you're going to need. Uh, if you have any questions about this unit, drop them in the comments below. As I said before, whether you get the F11, F09, F07, 507, all the same features, okay? So we'll probably have reviews of all those units coming up in the future anyway, but that is pretty much it. Like I said, any questions, drop them in the comments below. If you want to reach out to us for installation or any other inquiries, just head on to www.shoptfb.com, uh, fill out the contact form. We've got my numbers there, email there, however you want to get in contact with us, you can. And that is pretty much it. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll catch you all in the next one. Oh yeah, okay. Hey, what happened?